So I'm going to take a moment now to, to talk about surface preparation. Um, as in any finishing, arguably surface preparation is the most important part of creating a good finish. It's also arguably the worst part of my skill set. Uh, I'm not going to bore you to death by showing, by showing me sand a piece of wood. Uh, I can't imagine anything more dull, but let's talk about what's important. First of all, uh, in terms of guitar, most of the work that I do to prep are with scrapers. But once I have the, the surface scraped to my satisfaction, then we go to sandpaper. Um, I got taught using good old-fashioned garnet sandpaper. Now, you don't have to, but Eugene Clark taught us that garnet created a really open coated surface and that's important in French polishing. So I do use garnet props. Here's garnet. It's another big box of garnet. Uh, the disadvantages of garnet is probably any woodworker who's ever used it knows is it doesn't last a long time. So uh, it doesn't last as long as the modern sandpapers but it really um, cuts very well and as I say it creates an open coated look that the shellac penetrates into very well. I start with 80 grit. I go up typically to 220. Uh, on some woods I end up going to 320 but 220 is, is more of the norm. And one of the things that Eugene Clark showed us how to do um, is to actually sand cross grain. And this seems very counterintuitive. I'm not telling you you have to do it, but you might want to experiment with that technique. When you, uh, uh, there's a couple of advantages of the cross grain sanding. One is that the sandpaper, it's almost like a shearing effect, and it will flatten the surface better than going with the grain. Uh, the other is if done right, it almost creates, um, I guess I guess you call it radial lines, that when you apply the polish to, it has a really attractive look to it. So you might want to experiment with that after you feel more comfortable. The other thing that you want to do is use your hands as well as your eyes. Of course, you should be well lighted and look at your workpiece under a lot of angles so that you can see any imperfections in the sanding job, any bits of tear out, any scratches that remain. Um, remember, those will show up under shellac. And the more glossy the finish gets as you apply more and more shellac, the more they will tend to show up. So um, look very carefully, but feel very carefully. Your fingers are in some ways uh, more honest than your eyes and you're trying to feel for dips and then re-sand with your sandpaper to flatten out those dips. Any dip in particular uh, will show up under polish. So you want to be very meticulous in your sanding. Uh, that being said, uh, what I do as I'm going along is I also use naphtha to get the sanding dust off the workpiece and it also shows up the workpiece and will show me uh, bits of tear out or scratches that I hadn't seen. Um, you're not looking for a very fine surface here so that's why we don't go very much higher than 220. So you're going to have sanding scratches and as long as they're you know even uh, scratches. Shellac will absolutely, uh, <coughs> excuse me, shellac will definitely fill um, 220 sanding scratches. So don't worry too much about that as long as they're relatively even. I can't emphasize enough, and again I can't emphasize enough that it's not my strength, that you're going to be happy if you've prepped the wood meticulously. Uh, there's nothing that feels worse than to put a bunch of coats of shellac on and realize that there is a scratch or a bit of tear out or some kind of imperfection that is never going to fill in. That being said, shellac fools me. Um, 
there may be imperfections in my woodworking that I think there is no way this is going to go away and the shellac will actually fill that problem space. Um, the flip side is there's other sometimes there's little things that think that I think oh the shellac is going to fill that in and it doesn't. So be as meticulous as you can in your surface preparation but do know that shellac will tend to fill and cover some some sins and so you may have a scratch or a bit of tear out that you cannot get out but that the shellac will fill in or at least hide a little bit.